Hello gold farmers, welcome to another Golden Rots farming video. Today I will show you the Ruin Cloth Shuffle. The Ruin Cloth Shuffle is one of my favorite ones because a lot of people farm the Blackrock Spire dungeons and all the new farms like the Silithus farm they often drop ruin cloth so ruin cloth is fairly cheap right now and it's been cheap before you can get a lot of your ruin cloth from some of the transmog farms that are usually located in the burning steeps what you'll want to look for is the price of dream dust which on my server it's about eight gold I say it's about eight gold because that's probably what I'll post it at unless if it goes back up which it might but as you can see it's selling anywhere from 20 to 8 gold the item that you will be disenchanting during this shuffle is the rune cloth belt which takes three bolts of rune cloth and one rune thread so now that we have that figured out, you will want to look at your rune cloth on the auction house. You could also buy it or if you don't farm it you can buy it, which a lot of times I'll just buy it or since I farm a lot then I'll send the cloth over from my farmer and send it to my tailor. Since we know that it takes three bolts, we will want to buy anything, all the bolts for around two gold each, which it looks like there's quite a bit on here at that price. I probably won't be able to get through all of my bolts today, but it's costing me six gold to make possibly eight or more gold because you get, I believe, around two to five dream dust per each disenchant. So I'm making a profit of around 12 gold, give or take. the bolts are a bit more expensive than the regular cloth but you can still make a profit off buying bolts for the cloth it takes four cloth to make one bolt so you'll want to up for cost that is around I believe gold and 50 silver that depends on if and how much your uh, dream dust is selling how I usually figure out whether or not it's worth buying for a shuffle is I will only do one gold underneath the cost of the mats compared to two dusts so for example right now I can get 16 gold for two dream dust I wouldn't want to go over 
16 gold on the cost of the materials. It's costing me about 6 gold for one belt right now. A little bit less if I can find any rune cloth and stacks, but it doesn't seem like I'm gonna find any anytime soon. be careful with buying a whole lot of cloth if you plan on playing any because depending on how much cloth you buy it can take quite a while for you to craft all the bolts. If you have full hex weave bags then it takes probably 15 minutes to do one full inventory full which is you craft until your inventory is full and then you disenchant and by that time it's about 15 minutes it is a lengthy process but pretty well works it Once you have all your materials, you can start crafting. I need to find some rune thread and then I can show you a short version of me disenchanting to show how much you can make from it. You may be wondering why I haven't collected all the stuff that I had just gotten from the auction house, but a lot of my auctions were starting to expire, and I didn't really want to go through the process of putting any auctions up while I work on this. It's not going to hurt anything though because I've got plenty of rune cloth. I guess I have a little bit of dream dust to show you an average amount of how much you can make for 20. My TSM is saying that I can get around three thousand, which I don't think that's right. Oh, never mind it's I wish TSM would show you the average amount for a stack instead of just a single unit. 
luckily I have auctioneer up to and it's saying that I should be able to go around 268 gold for a stack of 20. So there are a couple different ways you can go about disenchanting these. You can use the TSM destroying add-on. You can manually do it or you can set up a macro which I don't remember if I have one set up for rune cloth or not. Yeah it looks like a good deal. All you do is you put slash cast and then disenchant and you do the forward slash use and whatever you are wanting to disenchant. I don't recommend using a macro for greens that you find from enemies but any kind of crafted green you can probably go ahead and set a macro up because it makes it a lot easier I like using the macro better than the TSM destroying but this is how you can make a ton more gold from any place that drops rune cloth. I don't remember how many bolts I used exactly. I think it was around 90. But my appraisal is showing that I've made almost 1k from the 30 Rune cloth belts, which 90 bolts would be a little under two stacks of rune cloth. So, for two stacks of rune cloth, you, could sh you should be able to get around another 1k profit from the rune cloth if you want to spend a little extra time to go through the process. I have a bad habit of saving a lot of cloth so it takes me around four or five hours to complete a shuffle but it's well worth it. I plan on trying to get at least one shuffle out a week. I'm not sure if I'm going to do two videos on the day I do the shuffle just because I don't think a shuffle is necessarily a noteworthy location considering you, all you have to do is send over cloth or buy cloth or any material for, for that matter. and you can disenchant it for more gold either way I don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe for more content and I hope you enjoyed